Michio Kaku, a world-renowned physicist, recently discovered an unexpected reality about Yellowstone National Park. What could have caused the park's unexpected shutdown? What terrifying events are taking place within its ancient grounds? And what secrets lurk beneath Yellowstone's breathtaking beauty? Join us as we dive into the reality that is about to change. Stay tuned till the end if you don't want to miss this captivating experience where queries lead to discovery and the unimaginable becomes a shocking reality. Imagine a future where the Earth shakes with such force that it can't be stopped, shaking the United States to its core. Scientists have been warning us for a long time about the danger of the Yellowstone supervolcano, which is a huge beast that is able to release a Category 8 explosion. If this giant woke up right now, it would be so angry that it would actually break the country apart. Recent events at Yellowstone have only made us more worried. The ground rises as if it were breathing in the hot heart below. A 465-mile stretch of bubbling rock is slowly making its way up. And to make things even scarier, the famous geysers in the park have come to life in a way that has never been seen before. Are these worrisome signs that an eruption is about to happen? We can only hope not because the famous scientist Dr. Michio Kaku says that Godzilla is sleeping under Yellowstone's calm exterior. In an interview with Fox News, Dr. Kaku compared Yellowstone's secret threat to a huge monster waiting to be set free. He patented a grim picture of a Category 8 explosion, which he called an apocalyptic event that could destroy the U.S. to its core. In his words, forget the idea of Yogi Bear as Yellowstone, we're talking about a sleeping Godzilla under Yellowstone that, if it explodes in what's called a Category 8 eruption, could literally rip the U.S. in half. Instead of having 50 states in the Union, there would only be 30. Yellowstone has been behaving strangely in this time of increased earthquake activity around the globe. Still, Dr. Kaku gives a glimmer of hope despite the scary noises. He thinks that we won't be surprised by what happens in the sky, as we often are. Unlike a rocket that comes out of nowhere, Yellowstone will give us plenty of time to prepare. Using the stories about the disasters in Pompeii, he says that there would be days or even weeks of growing explosions, like a fiery symphony under the surface of the Earth. During this scary music, we would have several weeks to start evacuating in the rare event that the volcano blew its top. Even though the threat of Yellowstone's wrath is still with us, Dr. Kaku's ideas tell us that nature may only give us a short time to listen to its warning. Still, because we live on the edge of the unknown, we can't ignore the scary possibilities that lie beneath Yellowstone National Park's peaceful beauty. What if the signs have been there the whole time, but we chose to ignore them? It's a scary thought, especially when we think about all the amazing things that have happened in Yellowstone. Take the amazing Steamboat Fountain, for example. In 2018, this geothermal wonder broke records by exploding 32 times, which had never been done before in its long history. For comparison, the geyser had never erupted more than 29 times in a single calendar year. That record was set in 1964. With so much going on, we should have been worried. Not only did steamboats' explosions catch our attention, but other geysers in the area also woke up in interesting ways. Since 1957, Ear Spring Geyser had been pretty quiet. Then, all of a sudden, it erupted in a spectacular way, spewing garbage from as far back as the 1930s. This was a shocking discovery. These scary things should have woken us up and told us to pay more attention to the warning signs. Yellowstone's ground has been steadily rising over the past few years, which adds to the mystery of what's going on there. The land has been slowly rising as if it doesn't care about gravity. In 2018, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory reported a small but steady rise of about 2 centimeters, which continued a trend that started in 2015 we can't just brush off such big changes happening under our feet. And let's not forget how often and unsettlingly earthquakes happen in the area. In December 2018, there were 121 earthquakes in the Yellowstone area, which is a huge number. These rumblings deep in the earth should have set off warning bells, letting us know that the ground we walk on is very unstable. It's true that we might wish for clearer signs before disaster strikes, but we also have to deal with the scary idea that these things may be the only signs of what's to come. The silence that comes after can be deafening, leaving us to wonder if we were too careless or if our beliefs made us too blind. Yellowstone's mysterious ways teach us an important lesson. 
to listen carefully and pay attention to nature's quiet words before they turn into a loud roar. When Yellowstone's anger comes out, life as you know it will end in an instant. If you are outside of the immediate kill zone, there is still a small chance of survival, but it will be very hard. Kaku also offers a risky plan for those who want to stay alive after the disaster, head east as fast as you can. In the first zone, which is 100 miles in diameter, terrible things are going to happen. About 70,000 people would die in an instant if it were possible. As you move into the second zone, a haunting scenery with 10 feet of volcanic ash that is 450 degrees Celsius hot comes into view. After this point, the chances of surviving get better, but the need to move east gets stronger. But getting to safety won't be easy because the roads will be too crowded with people trying to get away. Running away from the constant flow of volcanic ash is a very hard task. If you get stuck and your car turns into a grave under the weight of ash, you have no chance of getting out. Still, a sobering fact remains. A Category 8 eruption from Yellowstone would cause so much destruction that it would become harder and harder to escape its dangerous grasp. Let's look into the dark truth that lies ahead. Hundreds of cubic miles of ash, rocks, and lava would explode, sending a terrible rainstorm into the sky. What happened? Large parts of the Northern Hemisphere are in full darkness for days at a time. Within 100 miles of Yellowstone, a number of deaths that are hard to imagine would happen in an instant. But people who lived in places like Salt Lake City and Denver, which were not in the immediate blast zone, would have a worse fate. Their lives would be tortured by the effects of a disaster they didn't even know was coming. As the full extent of Yellowstone's deadly power becomes clear, we have to face the harsh truth. Even if you have a well-thought-out plan for getting out, the chances of you making it are getting smaller and smaller. The decision between bravely going against the flow or accepting what is going to happen is a deeply personal one. When nature gets angry, our combined strength will be put to the test. This will show us how fragile we are in a world that is shaped by forces we can't control. As hot volcanic ash, rocks, and dust fell on towns for weeks on end, a horrifying scene would play out in front of our eyes. In these villages, it would be hard to stay alive. Estimates are shocking but they show that 90% of the people who live within 600 miles of Yellowstone would die tragically. Experts predict that a layer of volcanic ash at least 10 feet thick would cover an area up to 1,000 miles from the center of the explosion. Two-thirds of the U.S. would become unlivable all at once, putting us in a state of crisis that has never been seen before. There would be a lot of pollution in the water, which would make it nearly impossible for us to live. It would be hard for people in the center to grow food, which would lead to widespread starvation. But the effects would be felt much further than the borders. The rest of the world, especially the Northern Hemisphere, would go through a terrible event called a nuclear winter. With its icy grip, global cooling would cause temps to drop by up to 20 degrees all over the world. Crops would wither and die, and there would be a wave of serious famine around the world. When we talk about Yellowstone Park, how can we leave behind its top attraction of it, which will get affected too? The beautiful Yellowstone River is a winding artery that runs for 692 miles through rough landscapes. It starts on Wyoming's stunning Yount Peak, which is part of the beautiful Absaroka Range. From there, it heads northwest, taking a winding path to the famous Yellowstone National Park. It runs through the clear waters of Yellowstone Lake, taking in the ethereal beauty of the lake before heading deeper into the wild. As the Yellowstone River keeps going, it runs into the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, which is a breathtaking sight. This awe-inspiring tunnel is about 24 miles long and 1,200 feet deep at its deepest point. It was made by the careful hands of time over a long period of time. Inside its rocky arms, two of the Yellowstone River's three beautiful waterfalls come to life, their crashing water sounding like nature's music. Tower Falls, which is close by, adds its own magic to this beautiful scenery. From the famous brink of the Upper Falls on the North Rim and the mesmerizing canyon overlook on the South Rim, you can see its beauty from different angles. Yet, when the world looks through a camera at the famous Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, it is often the powerful Lower Falls that steals the show. This 300-foot-tall waterfall is the most beautiful thing in the canyon, and its beauty captivates everyone who looks at it. There are many great views of this natural wonder from both the North and South Rims, but Artist Point is rightfully the most famous. 
Its view of the falls will stay in the minds of all who see it for the rest of their lives. Since 160,000 years ago, the Yellowstone River has slowly carved away at the Rhyolite Rock, turning it into the beautiful Grand Canyon of Yellowstone we see today. The yellow colors of this change are caused by the volcanic beginnings of the Rhyolite, which gives the canyon its unique and interesting look. Even though Brink of the Upper Falls is officially part of the North Rim, it calls adventurers to a separate path that leads to a breathtaking view of the Upper Falls. The North Rim has a wide variety of beautiful views thanks to its many spots and winding hiking trails. Each viewpoint gives you a chance to see the Lower Falls in all its glory, and for the brave explorer, there are short but hard hikes that will bring you closer to nature's grand show. Like the North Rim, the South Rim sits as a reminder of the beauty of the canyon, with its own set of viewpoints and winding paths. The results could be very bad. Billions of lives are in danger right on the edge of this unthinkable disaster. Let's hope and pray hard that such a terrible thing stays a far-off shadow and never happens. Even though Yellowstone is getting a lot of attention, we must also keep an eye on other dangerous volcanoes like Mount Rainier and Mount Fuji, which could also blow up and cause a lot of damage. With each passing year, the threat of natural disasters grows because our world is becoming more and more unsafe. Both figuratively and literally, the shaking of our world keeps going on. Unfortunately, many people who call themselves experts play down these worries and tell the public that everything will be fine. Still, the constant increase in earthquakes is a stark reminder that we are in uncharted land where our very survival is at stake. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications if you want to be kept up to date on even more mind-blowing discoveries. Stay in touch with us so we can keep bringing you the latest views from brilliant minds like Mashio Kaku. See you at the next one. Until then, keep watching.